straight ahead there for me, please. Keep holding straight ahead, nice and steady. Okay, just three of you for a central green pot. Very good. And now hold that stair for me. It's going to focus in just through the pupil. Both eyes open, looking straight ahead at the green square. Focus. Okay. Nice big blinks. And now hold that stair for me, please. Both eyes open, just looking straight ahead. And focus in through the pupil. That's lovely. And we'll focus back now. Okay. Different levels of the disease, and obviously. When you have it, it's relative to how long some of your liar will reside here. But obviously I became anxious that this eye would start going that way. And sight is vital to everyone. No one, as it were, needs sight more than anyone else. But it just so happened I earned my living by writing and reading. I do non-fiction books as well as fiction and have to do a lot of reading and note-taking. And I did not want this eye to go wh where this eye had gone. I couldn't have done anything then. Wet AMD is a condition where you have abnormal blood vessels growing in the back of the eye and the problem with these blood vessels is they leak fluid and bleed so that patients um, have this scarring process, leaking process inside the back of the eye and it punches out if you like their central vision and it's obviously um, you know, a big blow for many patients. A ro robot essentially fires in three beams of radiation into the eye that overlap in the back of the eye, the macula, the bit that's damaged. And the idea of the radiation is that it shuts down these new blood vessels that are causing all the problems and tries to really eliminate the disease rather than just suppress it as the injections do. Active lesions are ones where the blood vessels are growing very vigorously in the back of the eye and radiation preferentially knocks out proliferating cells. So what we know is if we take these lesions when they're very active and we give them the radiation at that point in time, we can preferentially knock out the cells that are causing all the trouble. We also know that if we treat um, lesions that are very large, they can be outside the zone of radiation that we de deliver in the back of the eye. So if we can get lesions that are fully within the treatment zone, um, lesions that are less than four millimeters, which doesn't sound very big, but actually in terms of the eye it is, if we treat those smaller lesions and the ones that are act actively proliferating, then we get much better results. Looks like math's paper, yeah. That's what we normally do with patients, just so we can kind of get them to spot lesions Neither I nor the consultant knew that. However, immediately I began to suspect it was real because I ceased to have Lucentis injections in this eye. And in fact, I haven't had a Lucentis injection for two years in this eye, whereas in this eye, I have them every two or three months. And as well as that, my sight has slightly improved. Yeah, there you go. Maybe.
the other things wrong with it, which may make my old age not as healthy, but yes. As far as eyes go, healthy.